Just because you can see your dick again and lost weight doesn't mean that you can be an asshole to other people. So that's what that looks like. Hey, what up, everyone? Now, obviously, you all know why you're here and why you're watching this video. And it's because of a certain YouTuber, certain vegan YouTuber named Flobby Bobby. Um, she recently came out with a reaction video or a video calling out the reaction channels. And she decided, decided to invoke my name in this. But before we get into all of that, I kind of want to set the stage for how we've come to this glorious moment in YouTube history. Okay. Um, what happened was um, a few of myself and a couple other creator friends decided to do AmberCon 2.0. You guys know you did. You probably watched AmberCon the first one. It was funny. It was hilarious. It, it was what it was. I personally don't think that we were that mean or that harsh or that critical. And we're also talking about someone that falsely accused someone of raping them. So I don't really care that much if her feelings are hurt that much. But a certain someone who wants to be Amberlynn so fucking bad has decided that she was going to take it upon herself to try and squash the Ambercon panel. And she felt that we were going to talk about her and she was already upset. And we actually had no plans. We had zero plans to even mention her. We have talked about some of the talking points that we were going to talk about before we even did the panel. So there were really no plans. We were No one was going to invoke her name. No one was going to invoke her spirit, blah, blah, blah. None of that shit. But she wants so badly to be Amberlynn Reed and to have the amount of subscribers that Amberlynn Reed has. So she decided to start putting it out there that we were these awful bullies. We were going to attack her. We were going to attack Amberlynn, da, 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 all that good stuff. And she was putting it out there that we were disgusting people because we were essentially raising money from the Ambercon for the Trevor Project, which is a, a charitable foundation that helps at-risk gay youth who are suicidal or being bullied in school. Um, how she correlates, she, she even, I think I even remember her saying something along the lines of how are these people going to bully people and then, or help kids who are, um, being bullied from committing suicide. First of all, y'all are not LGBTQ gay youth who are at risk in schools who are being, bu being bullied for just existing. The criticisms that are levied your guys' way are legitimate criticisms, be it vegan clout chasing, be it misinformation about dieting, be it the habitual lying about what you're doing, saying, and eating, be it um, falsely accusing someone of rape, be it not taking care of your animals. Like the list goes on and on. There are plenty of things for reasons why people dislike you. And for you to sit here and pretend that people dislike you for no reason other than just your existence is super stupid. It makes no fucking sense, okay? People have legitimate reasons for why they dislike you, okay? And you need to just get over that. There's people, there's reasons why people dislike me. What happened was, is people were coming out, out against her because they were upset with her for reporting the the stream before it even happened. This was before it even happened. She was already talking about how she was going to report the stream. She was going to get the stream taken down. And then when the stream happened, people asked her what happened to her reporting it. And she said, I never said that. That never happened. Bitch, we got the screenshots of you in the chat before the stream starting saying you can't wait to report this. So what are you talking about? Like, why are you even denying it? We get into the whole vegan chapter. So she, she, she made a video, it was titled, I'm going vegan or something, and now it's I'm plant-based eating. Is there a difference? I mean, I honestly, I was trying to look it up and whatever, whatever I, whatever I found when it said plant-based versus vegan, it said there was no difference. It said you don't use animal products. That's what you do, right? That's what you do if you're vegan and that's what you do if you're plant-based, right? So I saw that she was getting up on her moral high horse again. Mind you, this is about the fourth or fifth time that Foodie Booty has decided to uh, become vegan. <laughs> and she likes to get up on her moral high horse and be like, I just don't understand how people could use animal products seeing how animals are mistreated. Which is true. Animals are mistreated. I understand that. But don't get up on your high horse and pretend that you are now vegan because you've witnessed the atrocities done to animals and to the environment. And you can't be, you are just so consumed with how people could just destroy and hurt animals. But then you turn around and do it. And not only that, you make profit off of it. You are, you make a lot of income off of the exploitation of animals. And that was clearly what my tweet said. It wasn't 
I honestly don't think it was that bad. All I said is, so if your pledge to being vegan is about the ethical and moral reasons of killing animals, then you should take every single video down where you partake in eating slash using animal products. Something telling me that isn't going to happen though. And you proved my fucking point. You proved my point, Kate and Poise, when you responded to this woman on your community tab. She, she said, because you don't want to delete all those videos of you binging on Arby's and chicken wings, money over morals. And you said, why should I? They are a source of income and they are who I was. Plus, people enjoy watching them. So no, I won't be deleting these videos. A big part of the vegan community and the plant-based community and all that stuff behind not killing animals for food and all that stuff is because of there's a lot of money in it. So you in and of yourself are a part of said industry that exploits animals. I don't know why you can't make that correlation in your brain. I don't know if there's too much lard in there or too many beef and cheddars have finally gotten to your cerebral cortex and your just critical thinking skills are no longer there. I don't know what happened. It's not that far of a correlation to say you have tons and tons of videos of you partaking in or eating in animal products and you make money off of it. Therefore, you're almost a walking, it's like an advertisement for Arby's, McDonald's, chicken, pizza, all that stuff that you partake in that has all this, all these animal products in it. And you're essentially advertising it and you're exploiting, you're making money off the exploitation of animals. So you yourself are a fucking hypocrite. That's all I was saying. But you got all up in your feelings about that. And I guess you got so up, all up in your feelings about that that you decided to make a video. So here I am, I'm gonna respond to that fucking video because <laughs> I ain't got nothing better to do, apparently, because you think that we have no we don't do anything all day long. I'm gonna go ahead and respond to that video for you. Here we go. Hey guys, so no I'm not deleting this video, so whatever. I'm keeping it up. Well, that's already a fucking lie because you've already deleted the video. I don't know why you can't just like I don't know, it's very interesting to me. You have no you have no like gall you have no backbone really like you you say and delete you you're so regretful like it's you text and regret like it's so ridiculous like just fucking say what you say say what you mean and mean what you say finally maybe then people would have some modicum of respect for you and i'm just i need to get some things out the only way i'm staying on youtube for now and this is going to be for a while if i keep comments disabled because it's just a shit show at this point. It's just like, no matter what I do, people, it's the same people that keep coming back. You know, like, I don't need to lose any more faith in humanity than I already have. And YouTube makes me do that. I go to com, I read comment sections, lose faith in humanity. I mean, it's just constant bullshit, every single video. I mean, that is so fucking rich coming from you about the comment section and stuff. You have created this community, your subscriber base. This is what you've done. Your actions have done this. Your all over the place, your unstableness, your bitchiness, all of the above have created the community that you have fostered. So suck it up, buttercup. But let's not also pretend that you don't go around and trifle in that same petty bullshit on other people's channels. I see you commenting on me, about me on other channels. I mean, you can do that. I really don't care. Go ahead and do that. I see you commenting to other people who have nothing to do with you. I mean, you're on here criticizing Joey's World Tour about eating shit on, that you do. You do the same fucking thing. You do the same thing. You eat the same shit. Like, the, you are so crazy. I honestly don't, I, you really do need to check yourself in somewhere, real talk, because like, it makes your, your logic is so fucking flawed, it makes no fucking sense. But you have lost all faith in humanity or you lose faith in humanity each time you go to a comment section, you do the same thing. And most comment sections aren't as bad as yours, real talk. There are a lot of comment sections out here that are pretty positive, that have positivity throughout the entirety of the comment section. Maybe a few negatives every now and then because assholes exist in all, the corners of the world but you consistently have created this community that you now have and so now you have to deal with it and not only that but you take your shit to other people's channels i mean you even tried to come for me on eric's channel because i made a comment about his poorly his poor wig mind you you tried to make it sound like i did it on the video that he was sitting there crying about his mom Okay, people would think that I'm mean and I'm heartless. I'm not that fucking heartless, okay? If some guy's on here crying about his mother who has passed away, I'm not gonna go on there and make a comment about his hair. The comment I made was weeks before that, but you tried to make it into me coming on that channel right then during that video and trying to criticize him for his hair. Bitch, bye. Like, you're so fucking manipulative. I can't even 
ugh. BB must like, no wonder BB's never around. Real talk. No wonder he's never around and no wonder Pete's is the only one that's willing to go with you on your fucking food halls because you're probably insufferable to live with. If, if you are even a fraction of how you are on your channel to how you are with that man in real life, I can only imagine the amount of like shit that he has to put up with. It's fucking sad. Like I explained what I'm doing gradually about the veganism. Big deal if I'm not deleting my old videos right away. Are you the vegan police? It's it's all people who are not vegans who are criticizing me on this. Are you vegan? Are you doing anything to contribute to the vegan movement? No, so why are you even commenting? Well, I'm not the vegan police, but I am the petty police. And the truth is that you partake in an industry that you criticize all the time and you criticize others who also partake in that said industry. Now, I really don't really give a fuck. If you're vegan or not, whatever, I don't care. And I honestly don't care if people think I'm an asshole for not being vegan. I'm gonna do what the fuck I'm going to do. But for you to, to generalize and, and act as if everyone that has come at you for saying you're vegan and then actually not being vegan is not vegan and therefore has no leg to stand on is the most, is the dumbest fucking argument I've ever fucking heard. People have the right to criticize you for being a fucking hypocrite. That's what you are. That's what they're criticizing you about. They're not, they're, yes, they're using the vegan thing as a point in their argument to, to fact check you essentially. But the truth is they're calling you a hypocrite because that's what you are. You're, you're coming on here, you're vegan light, plant, whatever the fuck you're doing, you're, you're not doing it. You're not helping. So for you to get mad at other people for not helping when people are criticizing you because you've decided to be a champion for animals rights or whatever the fuck you're trying to do, and then you turn around and you do the exact opposite, yeah, they're going to have something to say. And real talk, vegans are some of probably the most fervorous communities out there. So if, if you come on here and you claim to be vegan and then you have all these fucking videos of you eating art, beef and cheddars, people are going to have something to say. And chances are they're probably vegan. I'm crazy. Like I'm the only person who notices these, these weird situations on YouTube. It's just completely toxic. It's so ridiculous. The negativity is not justified. It's not needed. It's not warranted. It's like... You know, there is something, there's some a, a quote or whatever that has always stuck with me for a long time. And it's always been, it's something to the effect of, if everyone around you is the asshole, chances are you're the asshole. So if everyone's saying you're dead, it's time to lie down. It's time to just eat humble pie, take your medicine. Because the truth is that people, if everyone has a consensus about you, if everyone has come to a consensus about your attitude, about how you act, how you portray yourself online, chances are that's what you're doing. It's not, these people, it's not like there was a secret meeting and everyone in the who's ever come across your channel has in a secret group chat and we all have decided that we don't like you. Everyone sees the same fucking thing. Is that coincidence or is that just fucking fact at this point that you act unstable and out of control a lot and then you're a bitch to people when they call you out and critique you on your behavior i don't think it's that far-fetched i don't think it's that hard to get to the into that line of reasoning when they watch a few of your fucking videos there's a reason why you're stagnant and there's a reason why people fucking don't like you it's because of your attitude it's not that it's, it's not that hard to fucking get there it's really not with amber lynn like what the hell you guys all hate her again like that what lasted five minutes what happened to all the support she was getting? You hated her for how long? And now you all of a sudden, she did a live stream and now you all hate her again. Like you were, I don't understand the complete 180s and I'm the bipolar one. All right. I never thought that someone would get me on here. I, I, the one thing I really dislike about Foodie Beauty is that she always gets me to like come on here and defend Amber Lynn. The thing with Amber Lynn, and I will give her credit when credit is due, She's trying whatever. I really don't think she's trying unless you're unless you're that size and you're seeing a doctor and a psychologist and all of the above the requirements that are needed to be super successful in your weight loss. I really don't think it's going to happen for you. But here's what it is. When she came onto that live stream, she was a condescending asshole. And she had been making promises to her community for a while now. And then she went back on all those promises. So people, rightfully so, were disappointed. And people are allowed to be disappointed in people. I mean, you can't, you can't make people always love you all the time. It is what it is. Now, Amberlynn, if you're watching this, and I'm sure you're going to watch this because you like to pretend that you don't watch my videos, but I know you're going to watch it. Stay away from her. Stay away from Flobby Bobby. She's toxic. She's nuclear. She's not She's not where you want to be, okay? If you're really trying to figure it out for yourself, 
leave her alone. Don't even acknowledge her. Don't come to her defense. Let that bitch drown in her own tub of lard. You don't need to fucking, you don't need to say anything. Let her come on here and invoke your name over and over again to try to get clout because that's really what this is about. The reason why Chantel comes when you're on a moral high horse and talks about Amberlynn, even though she came on here and fucking dogged her the fuck out when it was, when she felt like it. And now she's on, now she's team Amberlynn, but you know, she came on here a few times and dogged that bitch out and, th and dragged her, which I mean, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, I don't get me wrong. Amberlynn's fucking garbage. But now she's going to act like, oh, my God, everyone's so negative. Everyone's so like, get over yourself, bitch. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. And the only reason why you're talking about Amberlynn and the only reason you're talking about being vegan is because you want some kind of clout. You want some people coming to your channel. You want because titling your thing, my 400 pound life ain't working anymore. And people and you also can't seem to commit to like a lifestyle of actually trying to get healthy and better yourself. So doing that over and over again ain't working for you. So you're like, oh, I'll go the vegan route. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll pull some views. In. Now, all right, maybe I'll just talk about Aunt Berlin a couple times. Maybe that'll pull some views. Uh, no, that's not working. You're you're struggling. That's really what this is about. You're struggling. Anyways, there's a, the the lynch mob mentality on here. I can't. I don't care if I don't get hardly any views. You know what I? Re okay, she's used the the phrase lynch mob, or she's used the metaphor lynch mob mentality a couple of times now. Now, I mean, obviously, I'm a Black American. I um. Uh, whenever I hear the word lynch mob or whatever, I go to the lynchings of black people in during the Reconstruction era um, after the Civil War. Obviously, she's from Canada. Maybe she doesn't really understand the connotations or she doesn't have the same biases or whatever for um, what what that word invokes in my being or in my feelings or whatever. And obviously, I'm not trying to like tell her what she should and should not say. But lynch mobs historically and around the world are bad they're disgusting they're awful they go into people it's a group of people that go into a person's home drag them out hung them hang, hang them by the tree by their neck and kill them in front of their family usually right so or they kill the whole fucking family um to equate people losing their lives to people not liking you on the internet is a fucking stretch it's a big stretch okay it's not even a teeny so it's in my world, in my worldview, they don't even exist. They're not even on the same plane. They're not even the same fucking book. If we were in a library, it wouldn't even be the same fucking library at this point, okay? I need her to expand her victimhood vernacular to things that are not so, that do not invoke such violent and aggressive um, imagery in people because that's really what she's trying to do. She's trying to make it seem like she is this little um, poor who's being hung to the mass she's being scrutinized to the masses and there's a group of people out here trying to get here and she's just poor marginalized person you're not you're not any of the above Chantel. so quit knock it off expand people don't like you it's okay for people to not like you okay get over it oil following that's all i need that's all i'm on youtube for I'm not on, on here to gain fame and fortune um so you know what goodbye then why are you on here then why are you on this platform if you're not on here to gain fortune? You've literally just stated that your videos on you from you eating all your Arby's and McDonald's and all your meat products for your vegan lifestyle are going to stay up because you need the income. Isn't is the income not a part of your fortune or like it's pretty much just I mean, yes, you don't have a fortune, but it's money. You're on here for money. You're doing this for money. You're killing yourself for money. You're eating for money. You're doing you know, you're you're appealing to the feeders for money so like let's not pretend that you're on here doing this for like what for shits and giggles at this point that's not what's happening you're on here for money disabling comments from my own mental health and just yeah it, it no um i can't stand people's bullshit and yeah, I don't, I don't know, like, I seen a comment from, like, somebody sent me a screenshot of this Michael B. Bully. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! And talking about how I should delete, I've been fucking vegan again for five minutes, and I should delete all my videos that I had in the past, which is who I was before I get income off those videos, and... How about you delete all your videos of being a piece of crap and bullying people on the internet? Like, seriously, just because you can see your dick again and lost weight doesn't mean that you can be an asshole to other people. <sighs> but then I'm going to look like an asshole for making this video and crazy, like, because I'm being defensive. <sighs> and here we have it. This is the true Chantel, right? So when 
I was making those. I I'm gonna admit I was fucking annoyed with her when she was talking about reporting the stream or whatever because I think it's bullshit and I think it's stupid and it's a misuse of of power and it's a it's a, a miscalculation on YouTube's part to even allow a system like that to be put in place because someone didn't like it so they're gonna report it right so I knew that if I said if I brought out some pretty simple facts out there if I even tweeted it that um, it would bother her that much now. I I know Amberlyn. I know that Chantel is rotten to the core. I know she is. Most people know she is. Um, it doesn't take much for her to come at someone's appearance, which is kind of odd considering she's always talking about how rude, it, how childlike it is for people to come for people's appearances, blah, blah, blah. This is not the first time that someone who is overweight or a lot more overweight than I am now has come at me for losing weight. I don't know why that's a bad thing. I don't know why me losing weight would be bad for me. I don't know. It, it's very confusing to me. It's something that I've tried to wrestle with a lot. I've talked to a lot of my friends who have lost weight or have had weight loss surgery, and we can't come to a conclusion why fat people or why fat people who are fatter than us are upset with us when we lose weight, like how that's an insult to me. Like, yeah, I lost some weight, my penis looks bigger, thank you. Why are you concerned about it? Like why, are, it, it, it'll it never happen. I know you like to think that the reason why men or whatever disagree with you or criticize you, all men who wanna fuck you, that's not the case, sweetheart. Let me tell you right now, I don't pick dingleberries out of my partner's assholes. It'll never happen, it's not gonna happen. I think it's, in, this is her always go-to when that vegan guy was coming at her for the last time, or three times before she, when she went vegan, one of her major criticisms was like, oh, you just wanna fuck me. That's what this is about. Oh, you're ugly. She she, she is a child. She's She has no, her, when it's time for her to insult someone, she goes to playground tactics. She goes to, oh, you, oh, you have a big head. Oh, Michael B. Bully. Like, oh my God, you're so clever, Chantel. You're you're so witty. How, how have I ever come back at you? I don't know. Like it's, you make yourself look stupid by doing this. No one else is making you get on here and do this. You make yourself look really fucking dumb because you, there are things you could criticize me for. And I think there's like a logical way of, and a factual way that you could come at me and make me and, and criticize my content if you wanted to. And in fact, people have, and I respect them for it. I think it's their right to, right? And But you don't have any, your only tactic is to belittle someone by how they look, what they've accomplished, and what they have. That's your go-tos, which is fucking sad. Nobody ever looks at what those people are doing to get this type of reaction from me. So you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm saying what I need to say. And yes, I'm disabling comments because I don't need a lynch mob coming for me every video I make. So go ahead, thumbs down. I don't give a shit anymore. I don't care if you don't like my attitude anymore. I could give a fuck. I don't care. Um, do what you gotta do. But yeah, just know no more comments. I'm sorry. Um, I appreciate the loyal viewing. And I know those who matter will understand. And the rest, I don't give a shit about. So have a good night. See you tomorrow. I love how at the end of that video, she literally contradicts herself over and over again. She's like, I'm in it. I don't care. Like, dislike. I don't care. Say what you want, blah, blah, blah. But you're not going to be able to do that because I'm disabling comments. I'm disabling likes. Like, <laughs> you are so fucking, like, you, this is what happens when this is your entire existence. When your entire existence is food-centric, and you've made a food-centric channel on YouTube, and it's your only form of income, because it's your only life skill now, you've eaten yourself into this situation where you can't get out of, and you're so thin-skinned, and you have nothing else going on in your life but to put but to troll comments, to fucking go through all and every kind of social media platform where you're talked about, you get so irate, you get so bothered, so bothered by what people say about you. And this is your fault because you have nothing else going on in your life. You don't go anywhere, you don't work, you hang out with one person it seems like, and he seems, I don't know, I'm not gonna get into all that, but it's fucking sad. Like this is this is what your life has been relegated to. Is this? This is what you do. Like you have nothing else going on. You have nothing else to consume your time with. So this consumes your ever your all your life, all your being. Having someone come on here and criticize me for losing weight, girl. I've heard way worse in my life, and I'll probably hear way worse along the as I grow up and as I get older. 
I don't know what her plans are for this. I don't know what she's trying to accomplish by doing this. It just makes people dislike her even more. She deleted the video, but guess what, bitch? Once you put shit out there, it's already up there. There's already a bajillion of these rehosted somewhere else. I don't even, I would just keep it up at this point because it's up. But um, don't feel bad for me. I don't, she, she's fucked herself royally with doing this. I mean, I know the videos that are going to be coming out on her are going to be fucking chef's kiss i can't wait i honestly can't wait um but thank everyone thank you everyone for tuning in make sure to like like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at michael b petty and twitter at michael b petty and until next time toodles